Ooh, that was fun. Um, told the guys for the game, you know, these games are at home quarterfinals, um, especially for a senior, senior laden team. These are uh, as bad as special as they come, especially when you come on the, uh, on the outcome on the positive side. So to get them to have that last experience, they maxed out the stadium, can't, can't do any more here. So happy for them. Um, really happy that our fans, our students were unbelievable. Um, maybe maybe made us play a little anxious in the first 25-30, but I wouldn't have traded that for anything. They were great. Our students came out really strong. So the atmosphere will, will be something that we'll always remember. Um, Notre Dame is a fantastic opponent. We knew it would be tight. First half, not much. Um, thought in that second half we started to grab a hold of it and, and create some really good chances. Excellent restarts they are, and thought we we bent, we didn't break, and uh, we were always there to help cover for one another when when things did break down. Um, fantastic save by Trey. Um, I don't know if he doesn't save that, and again, I want to give a special thanks to our field crew, Jeremy and his staff. I don't know if he makes that save. We talked about last week if we didn't get those goal mouse cleaned up, that his push off would be I I inhibited. And Jeremy and that staff was out there for about two and a half days straight getting that field um, resurfaced. So I want to thank him and, and the staff because they got an assist tonight on that win. Excited to go to Santa Barbara. Coach, you talked about uh, how big of an opportunity it is and how cool it is to advance the College Cup in front of your home fans. And at the final buzzer, you kind of turned to them and gave like a huge fist bump. I mean, when that when it, that sounded, I mean, just what was the feeling for you? I just I wanted to be with them. I wanted to jump with the crowd and. But I had to go shake hands. It's the right thing to do. And but uh, I wanted to do that, and so that was kind of my moment. I think I might have hurt my shoulder too <laughs> doing that. And maybe use the word I shouldn't have used, but it was a lot of emotion because um, you really didn't feel that game until the last second. You know, we had they, they were dangerous certainly to the end, and uh, I'm just I'm just so happy for the group and an unbelievable night. So it was just a joy, pure raw emotion at that time. How did the Gatorade bath feel? It felt great. Maybe, maybe the College Cup is always special, but where does this rank? It seems like this one is just a little tick higher in that regard. Well, I don't. I mean, it's hard to you know put a weight on which ones. I think with last year being so close and the, the group doing so well this year, um, I'm happy they get a chance, you know, to another game and to keep playing. Um, so it's hard to put them in, in categories or special and whatnot, but. To you know, to look out there. I, I remember today I walked the field quite a bit and just looking at the banners and looking at the success the programs had, and to know that this team is just going to keep um, the branding crew really busy in the off season. Um, to see the 19 college cups, which is a really predominant, and to see now 20. Um, you know, that's those are you know for being around this this program forever. Those mean a lot. Um, for me personally, and certainly for this team, they're very proud, but um, each one of those is so hard to get to. And those that are in sport and understand it, it's so hard to do what this group does. Everything has, to, so many things have to go right. And um, I'm just happy they get to experience another game. How what, what was different in the second half? Um, I think they calmed down a little bit, and they were really anxious in the first half. We, we knew the crowd would be a, a, a great help. Um, but I think they played a little bit kind of like we need to go and score on every play and really need to move around uh, Notre Dame a little bit and find the gaps, and we just weren't patient enough. And really the goal kind of came from that, just a couple passes, open up the wide space, and we knew getting behind them on crosses would be successful, and Poncho's there again to make play. Um, the staff did a great job at half. We talked about that move, and uh, the assistants were like, we need to get Ponch wide when Spencer's in the game because Ponch typically makes that run to finish the play. And uh, great job by the staff. Would you say it was a positive to have Francesca Moore come in the second half with fresh lights? Yeah, Superman came in. That's what I told him. Told him before the game, I said, we're going to need you. Put the cape on. Whether it's 10 minutes into the half, whether it's a halftime, I mean, that kid is the biggest winner. I, I don't know if there's one bigger. And he, just his presence immediately on the field 
just gave everyone confidence, and he made plays, which we expect. But to get him on the field to help us win it, and we turned the game around very similar time he entered the field, him and Rico, Jeremiah and Trevor spent so much in that first half covering the spaces that we were pressing out of that they were pretty gassed. So that move and Jordan Klein coming in and doing an awesome job at right back, I mean, these are the moves that we have at our disposal. And Frankie was huge. And, and Reese Buckmaster in the midfield, I think, really turned the game at that point. Did you talk to Frankie before the game? And kind of did you see what his emotions were of just not being able to go out there and start in this type of game? Yeah, we, we kind of came to the conclusion that he couldn't get a 90, and I always felt like Frankie in the second half with 25, either to find a goal if it's zeros or to to, come, to keep a lead would be much better than the risk of losing him at the 60th mark and having him out. So that's the that's how we made the decision. Um, and it obviously played out well for Frankie and the team. And it just he, he has so much... Um, He's so much presence. It's hard to even put kind of a measure on it for this team. And we played well. Certainly we can play well without him, but he gives us a different edge in a lot of ways. How is this year different than last? Um, I just You know, this team's just finishing off plays. They're, um, that team was so good last year, too. I mean, again, hard, a few different pieces. I mean, we had some great players that aren't with us this year that were part of that team, and some young guys step up and new roles, and Spencer Glass was fantastic, in particular the second half today. He's been great all season. The job Trevor's done. Jack, did a, you know, freshman starting center back. Big games like this, I could go on. So it's a little bit different, um, but each one is is special in its own way. It's hard to really separate one from the other. What was kind of going through your head when you did make that decision early in the second half, and Frankie Moore and, and Jordan Klein at that moment? Well, I th- we just I felt like the team needed um, we had to turn the game a bit, and you know no one is as quick and dynamic as Reese. And I thought if we picked up some balls in midfield that we could break them and then open things up. And he did just that. We see that all the time in training. So, and, and the flip side, Frankie's presence, um, his organizational skills, and his ability to kind of read when we need to go and we need to hold it. Um, we knew that play would help us. It, I don't know what kind of what minute I didn't have a minute in mind in particular. I just thought that we needed to make this change. We needed to get a something a jolt. It was like you got to make a play. You can't sit back and just kind of hope that we can fight through it um, if you have that at your disposal. And, and risking Frankie um, for the group, you know, Frankie, if he hurt himself, would be fine knowing that our group's advancing. That's the type of team player he is. So, uh, but luckily he came out feeling good, and now we can get him ready for. Friday. Last year you guys had Mason Toy. You talked about players that are on this team. But are you guys more dangerous this year? More diverse offensively? Um, I think I think with the, the the evolving play of Spencer and Griffin, a year older, and I mean we really didn't have Justin. Light. I mean he he was fantastic, kind of in those twenty minute spells, but he was coming off injury. He's a different player this year. I'm almost like this is his freshman year, and he's almost becoming a sophomore now with his experience. So. We're, we are different. Mason had a different skill set than any of those players and was really good. But I, I think we're, our balance of our team is a, is a bit broader this year than it was last, um, which, again, gives this guy, these guys a lot of confidence. You mentioned the branding department's going to have to do a little bit of work now and update the boards. Have you considered what another trip to the College Cup means for your legacy as a head coach? No, I mean, no. I mean, it, to me, it's all about, you know, pushing it and you know we ask that when we recruit players you know you're coming here to push an unbelievable program farther and leave your mark and I mean we're in the midst of that right now with this group I mean with the amount of wins with two trophies the 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 way they've done it I mean the story's not done yet but they've taken that challenge and and gone with it and that's 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 a big responsibility so uh, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm so proud. I mean, when you look at the IU crest and you see the stars and you see the success and, and all the banners, it just gives you, again, that sense of pride that means a lot to all of us, and our team feels that. Coach, tell us about uh, the atmosphere in the bench when you saw Austin Pancho hit the ball in and get the winning goal. Oh, that was really fun. Um, yeah, I, was, I had a little bit of a fun moment there, too. Um, 
I had a couple emotional moments. That was one of them. I usually don't get that animated, but I did. Um, Coach Roby was animated. A couple our staff gets me going a little bit. But that was that was fun. I felt like we get one, we're gonna we're gonna win the game. Um, and because our t- defense and everything has been so, so I just felt the one was all we needed. So I was really excited. Did you notice a confidence boost on your side after the first goal with pushing more forward and feeling more comfortable, comfortable making combinations between players? We did. I think you know, no doubt, Notre Dame came a little bit unraveled, and and you know they didn't want to play direct, but they they couldn't quite find the rhythm of the game. We were getting our rhythm. Um, some guys, I thought Jeremiah was fantastic up the field. We kind of released him higher, and it, he made some great plays to keep some attacks going. And um, just everyone stepped up the last really 25 minutes in different ways. Then the last, you know, six to eight, you're in, you know, you're not in survival mode, but you're in definitely a deeper block. And we just want to take away some things and not give them restarts. So that would we did a good job of not giving them too many throws and corners because they're pretty dangerous on those. Todd, how much advantage does having ex- college cup experience have? for you, obviously, in the next, the next game? Um, well, I think, you know, my father's been, obviously, he's my mentor, and he, we talk, you know, every day and about all things um, related to life and soccer. And, you know, when we made the first College Cup visit in 2012, you know, very clearly he said, you just get to stay on the course. Don't change what you're doing. Shorten things. You know, those advice moments uh, for someone that you have ultimate trust with, um, gave me a lot of confidence to, to make those decisions and, and feel good about it because there's no one that's been to more of them than he has. Um, and he's learned maybe things that he would have done different maybe in his earlier years. So that's pretty valuable. You know, I have, I have the, you know, the most successful coach at, at an, an instant on any question that would come up that um, could help give us an advantage, and, and we certainly use that to, to our fullest. Anything else? Thanks, guys.